Welcome to What Really Matters, the talk show that investigates who the real star of Christmas is. Here are your hosts, Timmy Trimmel and Myra Hanks. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Timmy Dremel, and welcome to our talk show called What Really Matters, where we interview the stars of Christmas. My co-host, Myra Hanks, is on assignment for next week's show, and we'll have a very special guest you won't want to miss. Oh, and speaking of guests, are you guys ready to meet today's star? Yeah! Great! Let's bring him out so everyone can give a warm welcome to Zachariah! Hello there, Zach. Can I call you Zach? <laughs> Go ahead, have a seat, have a seat. Oh, it's good to have you here, Mr. Uh, Zach. <laughs> um, so, how's your week going so far? What? Yeah. It's, it's okay. Oh, you must be nervous. <laughs> yes, yes, I understand. I was nervous too when I first stepped into the world, worldwide biz of show business. What does that even mean, show biz? What is that short for something? No? You're not, you're not nervous? You, Oh, it must be something else. It, it, is it a mic? Uh, oh, well, we can do a mic test for you real quick. <laughs> uh, production in the back. Uh, can we get a mic test? Uh, I think he's got the second mic. Uh, no, no mic? Did, wait a minute. Did we even give you a mic? Wait. Uh, oh, my goodness. We didn't even give him a mic. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. Uh, can we uh, have a stage hand out here real quick? <laughs> wait. What? What are you trying to say? Are you trying to play charades with me now? <laughs> this is, I didn't think this was a game show, but uh, I guess we can try. Uh, actually, I'm not that great at charades. Maybe maybe we should just uh, call in a translator, huh? Uh, oh, oh, here's our translator now. We're very quick and efficient. Why, hello there. You must be, um, uh... Um, um, I, um, I'm Elizabeth. I'm Zechariah's yeah. wife, and oh. maybe I can help you see. Um, Zechariah, he happens to be mute. That mute? means he can't speak. He can't speak? <laughs> Oh, oh boy, uh, conversations at your your house must be uh, exciting. <laughs> Am I right? Yes, actually. You see, since he can't talk, we have to play a game of charades every time he wants to tell me something, oh which boy. is actually very entertaining. Well, I hope you're good at charades, because I'm not that great. Uh, yeah, anyway, uh, Zach, <laughs> uh, well, seeing as how you're the star of the show this Christmas, so why don't you uh, uh, play a fun game of charades? It, yeah? Okay, that sounds good. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna admit, I'm not that great at charades. I'm a little bit rusty, so uh, <laughs> take it easy on me, all right? Yes, yes, long, some, no, wide, no, yes. A big squiggly picture, the sky, a, a baby, and thumbs up, and another picture frame. I got it. Okay, that was a lot to take in, but I'm gonna try my best. You had to travel really far away, and then there was something about to taking your picture. Yes, you had to travel really far away to get your picture framed, and but actually it started snowing while you were taking this picture, and something about you having to hold a baby for this picture, or maybe it was snowing on a baby. Was it snowing on a baby? Um, no, um, no, something about, then there was a smaller square inside of that picture um, Timmy, with, Timmy. I think, a heart. Uh, that, that wasn't what he said at all. That, that wasn't it? No. Well, I did tell you I was a bit rusty, uh, uh, but anyway, the, what did he say then? Well, seeing as I'm his wife, I think I would know best how to interpret this. You see, what Zechariah was trying to say was that, you know, um, God came down and gave him this great vision of a baby that was about to come, and he was going to be able to have a son with me, which was amazing. You're going to hear about oh, it. And I get this baby was going to grow up to be a really great photographer. Am I right? No. This baby no. is going to be a great announcer of the greatest baby ever after him to come. That is who the real star of Christmas is all about. It's not a photographer? Mm, no. Uh, so you're saying the star of the whole show is a baby. Yes. And it's not Zachariah? No. But it has to be Zachariah. I mean, he's on my show. Yes, but he isn't the real star of Christmas. You see, Jesus, God's son, well, he's the real star of Christmas, not Zachariah that you were trying to guess there. Um, what, that's what he was trying to say through all of that. Mind. You got all of that? <laughs> You're really good at this. <laughs> oh, oh, man. So so then the, who is this uh, this baby Jesus, you said? And why does he get to be the real star of Christmas? Well, I think now is a good time to watch the first scene in our Christmas story. 
<laughs> oh, well, you heard him, folks. We're now going to view the premiere of the first part of the Christmas story. <laughs> Enjoy today's showing, and we'll see you next time on What Really Matters. <laughs> Here, let me try this. <laughs> Oh, come on, guys. I was trying to say, did you bring popcorn for me? <laughs> I really am bad at charades. But roll film. Zechariah and Elizabeth lived in the hill country of Judah. Both Zechariah and Elizabeth came from the family line of priests. But while many priests made a big show of their work just to impress other people, Zechariah and Elizabeth actually loved and served God. Dear God, Help us to follow your commands in all we say and do. And please, please give us a child. Through many long years, Zechariah and Elizabeth had been unable to have children. Bless their hearts. They must have done something wrong for God to let this happen. But God wasn't punishing Zechariah and Elizabeth. In fact, one year Zechariah got an amazing opportunity. His group of priests gathered about twice a year in Jerusalem to serve God in the temple. Zechariah, you've been chosen. Me? <gasps> to go inside the holy place? Each year, one priest was selected to enter the temple and burn incense before God. Now, with 1,000 priests in this group, this could have been a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Wow. Okay. I'm ready. As the other priests waited outside, praying to the Lord, Zechariah entered the beautiful holy place of the temple. Carefully, from a golden censer, he spread incense over glowing coals on the altar. The fragrance filled the air like the prayers of the priests outside. There, all done. But as Zechariah turned to go, bright light blazed up on the right side of the altar. <gasps> oh, a dazzling angel towered over the altar. Zechariah stumbled back. Do not be afraid, Zechariah. Your prayer has been heard. Oh, uh, thank you. Which prayer? Your wife, Elizabeth, will have a child. A child? Zechariah struggled to think clearly. It will be a boy, and you must call him John. He will be a joy and delight to you. His birth will make many people very glad. He will be important in the sight of the Lord and filled with the Holy Spirit. He will bring back many of the people of Israel to the Lord, their God, and he will prepare the way for the Lord. But, uh, but, but, but Elizabeth, uh, how can I be sure of this? Uh, we're both old enough to be great grandparents. The light burned even brighter, and Zechariah shielded his eyes. I am Gabriel. I serve God. I have been sent to speak to you and to tell you this good news. And now, you will have to be silent. You will not be able to speak until after John is born. That's because you did not believe my words. They will come true at the time God has chosen. Zechariah tried to respond, but no sound came from his lips. These words will come true at the time God has chosen. The light flared and then dimmed. Zechariah found himself alone again. Stunned, he staggered out of the temple. There you are. What took so long? Zechariah opened his mouth, but still no words came out. Uh, didn't catch that. Zechariah gestured wildly, attempting to explain. <gasps> Ooh, charades. I love charades. Um, mouth, duck lips, open, shut. Ooh, ooh, ooh. you can't talk. Why not? Something tall, wings, um, ostrich, flamingo, aha, angel. You saw an angel. Although he couldn't speak, Zechariah finished his time of service and returned home. And in a short time, Elizabeth found out that she would indeed have a child. The Lord has done this. He has been kind to me. At last, the time came for Elizabeth to have her baby. Well, bless your heart if he don't have quite the pair of lungs. He's beautiful. Just look at that head of hair. Eight days after the baby was born, friends and relatives gathered for his naming. His name will be Zachariah, of course. 
Yeah, after his daddy. No, he must be called John. John? Honey, nobody in your family has that name. It ain't right. Everyone turned to Zechariah. Zachariah, that boy needs a proper name. Still unable to speak, Zachariah gestured. Oh, 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 charades again. Hold on, a uh, stick, a uh, carrot, a, uh, ooh, he needs something to write with. As soon as Zechariah had a tablet and quill in hand, he wrote quickly. What does that say? I can't see. His name is John. Well, bless my heart if Zachariah ain't talking again. <laughs> Praise God, his name is John. John. You like that, don't you, little one? Everyone was filled with fear and wonder as the news spread through the hill country. It was clear the Lord was with John. What is that child gonna be? So what seemed impossible had become possible. God had given Zechariah and Elizabeth a child in their old age. God had taken away Zechariah's speech and then returned it. And then, when John grew older, he would play a very important role in introducing his cousin to the world, Jesus. Jesus. 